Welcome back to Gaming Top Down. Today we're going to be unboxing the Premium Collector's Edition of Skyrise, which is published by Roxley Games and was originally developed by Sebastian Pouchon, I think is how it's pronounced, and has been re-implemented here along with Adam Wise and Gavin Brown. I've already got the shrink wrap off, so let's get the lid open and see what is inside. <music> Okay, first up is, let's look at the inside of the box, some cool artwork. Looks like my copy is number 8036 of that run. Then we have the rule book in plastic sleeves. Let me take it out of there really quick. Very big rule book not linen finish but it seems of high quality lots of components here setup instructions lots of pictures on the gameplay section even more examples here and a little bit about each of the player boards they're double-sided and have a different character on each side. I wonder if they're based on real people or if they're fictional. We'll have to discover that. And the back side has some general FAQ. Good looking rule book. Next up is the player board, which let's come back to that in a moment. Next are some cardboard punch outs. They are thick and nice cardboard. I did get the wooden pack, so I have wooden versions of these pieces that we will be looking at as well. Then the four player boards that are double-sided. Lena Bobardi, Vera Mukina, Charles Z. Clowder, Fritz Lang, cool eye patch. Tamara de Lempica, Lempica, terrible with names, Paul Williams, I can do that one, Antonio Santelia, and Mario Chiatone. Yeah, those are nice. Double layer board, they're actually, I guess, triple layer because the other side is also double layer, or I guess it could just be double since they're on opposite sides of the board. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, next up is this big tray with all of the buildings. And in here we have the different auction pieces for each color. So let's look at a few of those. We've got the blue ones. Here's a couple small ones in different shapes, a couple medium ones. Let's look at those first. Look very nice. A couple medium ones. That wash looks really great. And it looks like every model is a different sculpt, which is cool. And then they have numbers on the bottom that are used in the auctions. Okay, a couple of the blue players, tall ones as well. And from here, we'll just look at the tall ones for each player from this point. Here's a couple of the yellow players pieces. The green player. Player that I will choose most of the time. And last is red. Yeah, cool buildings. Those will be fun to, to play with. 
Okay, other than those, which take up a lot of this space, we then have some of these modular pieces that go on top of the game board to create kind of the floating island. So we'll build that in just a moment. Before that, let's look at each color's wonder. Here's blue's wonder. Red's wonder. Green. And yellow. Then there is a bag that all of the wooden tokens will go in. It has Sky Rise there on the front. And let's look at some of those tokens and put them in the bag here. Here are some of those wooden tokens that represent the different neighborhoods in the city. They fit in there just great. Then there's also these four tokens that go on the board upside down and then are revealed at the end of the game to show which character's pieces are worth the most points at the end. They're also nice and wooden and chunky. And then for the first player that has played all of their buildings by winning all the auctions, they will get this 10 point piece, the key to the city. And the second player in a three to four player game that has played all of their pieces will get this smaller version of the key to the city worth four points. Okay, I'm gonna set this board up so that you can see it. So a little fast forward here and I'll be right back. Okay, it's a little trickier to put that together than I thought it was going to be. Maybe there's some instructions in the rule book that I shouldn't have skipped over. But um, it does look nice, all connected there on the board. And up here is where those hidden pieces go that I mentioned that will show how much each of those uh, piece, people's pieces are worth. And there were a few more pieces underneath these island pieces that I wanted to show you as well. First one is very straightforward. It's just the player score tracking pieces. Next up are blimps in the four player colors. We've got the red player's blimp, green, blue, and yellow. And lastly, we have the cards. Let me open these really fast. Okay, there's a nice card here to help with setup, so you know which pieces to remove, and a rules aid. And then the backs of these cards are very pretty and glossy, shiny gold on them. And here are the fronts. Cards feel nice and linen finished. I usually sleeve cards, but I don't think that these ones really get shuffled much or get much play in your hands other than sitting in front of you. So I don't really think it's necessary for this game. Cool. Well, that was a quick look at Skyrise. I'm excited to try this one out. I really like some of Sebastian Pouchon's other games, including um, Jaipur and Sobek, two players are some of mine and my wife's favorite games to play together if we need something short and snappy. So I'm excited to see how one of his slightly more complicated designs uh, plays and how it comes together. And these pieces seem really nice. 
and have a very high production value. So hopefully that will add to the experience as well. So look for a review to come on the channel, hopefully soon. Thank you so much for stopping by Gaming Top Down. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Maybe share it with somebody else who might like this game. And make sure to check me out on the Super Game Brothers podcast. Thanks so much for stopping by. Till next time.